Good morning, traders. Welcome to this week's Elliott Wave Forex and Cryptocurrency Market Analysis Webinar. I hope you all had a great week. So the market is still trending. We are seeing a lot of trading opportunities. We have been catching most of these moves. Uh, and if you have been following these videos, I hope you are making money because most of those moves are discussed here every Sunday during these webinars. If you like us, if you like to join us live for the Sunday analysis, you can do so by registering on our website. Uh, I'll give you a bit uh, details about the website shortly. So you can register and then you can attend live. You can ask some questions if you've got any questions. But these webinars are held every Sunday at 8 a.m. GMT. Sundays 8 a.m. GMT. You can join us live for both the uh, Forex webinar as well as the cryptocurrency webinar, which is done immediately after this. Right. So for the contact details, uh, you can go to our YouTube channel. Uh, it is uh, Trading Waves. The tagline there is the new Elliott Wave principle. That is because we wave differently. If you've seen any wave uh, analysis on YouTube or on the internet, you will see that we are different. Uh, then uh, what makes us mostly different is the fact that we've got a special indicator that we use to confirm our moves and take trade executions. Right. So if you'd like to do that, uh, our contact details you will find under the description of all our videos. Uh, if I just open any of the videos oh, under, under the description, you will find our contact details. Those are the links to our website, the, our Telegram channel. Guys, uh, join our te Telegram channel. We'll be sharing some charts there, whether it is the weekly chart and some random charts that you can benefit from. Just click on that link and join our Telegram channel. The channel has been on for some time. You can join it there and uh, benefit with, uh, on, on some of the analysis there. Uh, you can also follow us on TradingView. And our website is Trading Waves dot com trading waves.com so that is our website you can uh, get all the information that you need on our website everything is detailed there so that is what you have you can also see a list of our courses right uh, you can make an inquiry for our uh, uh, lifetime plan i think uh, lifetime plan has been popular over the last cam uh, last, last couple of months since we introduced it last year a lot of people are very interested in the lifetime plan that saves you uh, a lot of uh, time and money to subscribe every year or every month. So check out the lifetime plan. And if you do not understand anything, you can contact us via the social media play pages. Right, so let's get started with the analysis. Uh, if you remember, I want us to start with gold. Just as a recap, gold, we have been looking at gold to make a reversal. But if you look at how it has played out, it is not played out exactly as we've been looking at, but the structure remained the same. So what we were looking for initially on gold, just to give you a bit of history, we were looking for this to continue coming down here. So when this made, so firstly, we had this move here. So we wanted to see a corrective structure here for this to continue to the downside. Yes, we did get this corrective structure. We did come down here. We did not come down as we wanted to see that. As this was developing, we realized that this was actually making a deeper corrective structure. So when it came down here, we adjusted this and we said, okay, this looks like it's making a complex correction. As far as, as you can see, that was a complex correction. And you will see that as, as the move continues, that was not just a single move. It was a double correction on this leg. Now you will see that we also had a corrective structure here and we also had a corrective structure here. So all in all, what has happened with gold is that it has made a bigger corrective structure. And you'll see that we picked up that the reversal was going to be here when it did when it did come down. Okay, so the important thing when you're doing this analysis, so let's just complete this for now. I'll give you the rest of the structure and what we expect of gold going forward. So the important thing is to be able to pinpoint where the reversal is going to be. So we track, we track, we're trying to find confirmation. And until the indicator confirms, we are not going to get the trade. We only take the trade when the indicator confirms. And in this case, you'll see that we picked it right at the top here after the corrective structure has completed. So let's just have a look at that. And uh, then we're gonna look at how, what we expect the structure to play out like on gold. So let's have a look here on the, Let's have a look here. Just one second there. 
just need to make sure that I am logged in. Okay, let's get this one logged in. Right, we are in now. Let's go to the instruments and have a look at uh, gold forecast. Now you'll see that the structure remained intact as much as we did not get pinpoint the exact reversal area while it was making a move. So we wanted it to come down initially with a smaller correction, but it made a bigger corrective structure. So this is how the cycle works. Now, what you need to understand here is that uh, the bigger structure, here is the bigger structure. If you look at this chart here, so this chart was on uh, February the 20th. So on the bigger structure, we realized that this was actually making a bit of a, a push to the upside here. We wanted it to simply make a regular flat, but it has made an expanding flat to about 1980. And we are now seeing that reversal over there. So it has now reversed, but this is on the daily. How do we pinpoint that reversal? So we reversed at about 1973. Let's go to the lower time frame and just have a look at that. Now, if you look at the lower time frame, the four hour, let's have a look at the four hour here. You'll see that we wanted this to push slightly up to this level so that we can get that move, that drop. So this is an update, the, the daily updates that uh, our members get. So as much as we're having this bigger structure here, bigger overview of how the market, we anticipate the market to play out, uh, our members get a detailed view in the lower time frames. For example, here, we're showing that we're gonna be, have a bit of a push to the upside. We're gonna come and drop down here. That is on the four hour. Let's have a look at the lower time frame here now. During the New York session, we picked up that this has now reached the reversal area and we are going to get the reversal there. Let me just see here the, on the four hours. So you can see here, so that is where we wanted the reversal to happen here. So that was a New York on Thursday evening, uh, rather th Thursday afternoon during the New York session. This is a one hour chart on New York and we were looking for this one to drop. Now look what happens the following day on, Mon on London and during the London Open. So we've got, our charts updated before the London Open every single day, Monday to Friday, as well as the New York, uh, during the New York session, Mondays to Friday, as well as the live trading room. So look at how that has played out. New York session, we picked up where the reversal was going to be and the London, this is how it is now dropping. Now, where to next for gold? So even if we see gold putting back here, we'll expect it to still continue to the downside over the next couple of uh, trading sessions. Let's let's have a look here at the bigger structure. So what does that whole structure mean? So that whole structure means the following. It means gold has reached this level here and we may be getting this one coming down here in three waves and gold can even come down as low as this level. That for the structure does not change anything. It still means that this whole thing is a corrective structure. We can have this playing out as follows. You can have this one as three waves down, this one is three waves down before we get a move to the upside. So that is the gold structure looking very good uh, for more uh, downside for now. So we'll be looking for entries here to come down and we'll be looking for this one to come down for a Y. So as for the rest of the structure, that is on the weekly charts that our members have access to. So let's go down now and start with the market analysis for each and every pair. So talking about, before we start there, we're talking about the social media pages, guys. So you can follow us on uh, Facebook, Twitter. I uh, think uh, I've also mentioned Telegram. So you'll find this kind of uh, analysis there. So you'll see this chart here uh, on uh, New Zealand US dollar, how we picked up the reversal from the blue box. Blue box, as I keep saying, is a powerful reversal area. As you can see, this is how that one has played out. So today I'm just gonna show you one. I think you've already got the theme and how the, we look at the market. So that is what we have there. And on gold, this is what we're expecting into the new trading sessions. Let's start now with the rest of the market analysis. The euro, I'm on the daily here. So what are we expecting on the day uh, on the euro? This is now making a reversal here. We've been bearish on the euro since around this area, since it made this corrective structure here, since it gave this entry here. So the euro has been bearish. Even when we, this was correcting here, we expected this was going to push to the upside and drop. Okay, 
But what is happening now is that we are getting a corrective structure here as photos. So you may get the euro coming back as much as 1.6, 1.16 before it continues lower again. Because as it is now, it looks like we've got a bit of a bounce and we are going to see this, the euro pull back to around this level 1600. So we're going to have short term, short term US dollar weakness. So let's have a look at this in the lower degree here on the euro. Let's have a look for our. Okay, so over the last uh, couple of weeks, uh, you remember that we have been looking for this one to drop from here, which it has dropped from 1.15, and uh, we are now 1.1, about, uh, uh, about a 400 pip drop here to around that level. So we are looking for this now to at least pull back to around this level. It can come back up in a straight line, or it can come back up here in three waves. So the way that it will come up here will tell us which structure this will be making. So let's see here if we're going to get an entry here for upside. Otherwise, this still looks pretty much weak. This could simply just be a three-wave pullback and continuation to the downside. So let's see how this plays out in the new week. We'll get confirmation then. Now, if we're looking for the euro to pull to push to the upside, the pound US dollar, obviously, we'll expect it to at least push to the upside as well. Now, Pound US dollar on the daily, or even before I go to the daily, this could be making this structure for a push to around this level, but this will still drop, okay? So I'll show you the bigger structure and why we're expecting that on, on pound. Let's go to the daily so you can have a good idea why we're looking at it like that. Now, pound US dollar, we have been looking for it to give us one leg up one leg to the upside, one more leg to the upside here. Let's just have a look here. This is a corrective structure that we were looking at one, two, three. We're looking for this one to push to the upside for one more up before we drop, but it doesn't look like that is going to happen. Even with this one, two, three here, if you see this pushing to the upside, this is what it will have. The only way that it will now push to the upside is if it comes back down for another three waves, then it will have made a corrective structure for one more to the upside before we drop. But we're not gonna make it complicated for now. Just look out for this here on the daily and the four hour, whether this is going to be a push to the upside. Are we getting this one to go and push up here? Or is this just going to be a three waves here and drop? Let's have a look at that on the four hour and see what we are getting. On the four hour, that's what we have there. It does not look aggressive on the four hour and we may just continue to the downside and we may not get that US dollar strength. So we can have this one doing that. That is a three wave structure and we can have pound continuing to drop. That is the likely structure that's gonna happen if we don't get any uh, strength there on uh, the pound. Right, so let's have a look at US dollar CAD. US dollar CAD, following the short term US dollar weakness, we will expect, last week we were here, we expected this one to push to the upside. We only pushed this move here, did not go all the way, so that move was not sustained. So we may be getting this one to come down here in the same way that this one came down here to make this structure here. So we're gonna have this one here in the meantime. So for now, if we're gonna have any confirmation of downside here on US dollar CAD, it needs to confirm around this level. An entry here will get us to around this level before any bounce to the upside. And that will be a nice WXY structure here on US dollar CAD. So let's have a look at how that is going to play out. US dollar chief. So if we're looking at the short term uh, US dollar weakness, there are two ways that this can play out. We need to get that confirmation uh, at market open or during the London session. So let's have a look here. So two ways here, if this, this looks like it's gonna make a push to the upside, but we are, we don't look at the market uh, in, uh, in, we look at the market holistically. So if we're looking at the US dollar weakness overall, then this should be the structure that we expect uh, US dollar chief to play out as at least a move back here before we get a move to the upside. So we'll look for this one to at least give us a bit of a move to the downside. So that will be playing out this three wave structure here as one, two, three. If we're gonna have any push to the upside, that should come around this level. So let's see how that plays out. Okay, so that is a US dollar chief. How do US dollar, so how do US dollar and New Zealand? Similarly, we have been selling this. If you remember, we had this one here, a complex corrective structure which was very interesting, pinpointed it here for a reversal, it has dropped. We have now made a three wave pullback and that three wave pullback looks something like this. I'm gonna show it, let me zoom in here so we can make it a little bit bigger. So now this three wave pullback, you saw this one here, just let's just put it on there 
one, two, three. You'll see that it is doing exactly the same thing here. Okay, except this time here, we've got an expanding flat. Now here, you've got a three wave up, you've got a three waves down. We'll expect another three waves to the upside here before any drop to the downside. If you look at this one here, we've got a nice three wave pullback here. And we've got here a nice WXY corrective structure here. It's the same way that we had this WXY corrective structure with a complex X correction, a complex X correction here. So we anticipate that Audi US dollar will push slightly to the upside this week. Let's see how that plays out. New Zealand will be similar. It's got a clear expanding flat in New Zealand. And you can see the same way that uh, Audi pushed uh, down after this complex one here, A, B, C corrective structure in this time with a complex B correction. Now this one is making another uh, three-way structure here with the this being the complex correction with uh, this one being now the WXY corrective structure here. Okay, so let's see here. Are we gonna get continuation pattern for this to push slightly up higher? So we're expecting short-term US dollar weakness across. So that is why we are anticipating a bit of a move to the upside. Now US dollar CAD, we, we know US dollar CAD is uh, correlated to US dollar ZAR. So we'll be expecting US dollar ZAR to continue lower, a confirmation here. We'll see US dollar ZAR come down to around this level. Just make a note here on US dollar ZAR. Looks like we're getting very strong divergence. This is making lower lows there, lower lows. Let's have a look at the RSI is making higher highs. Until this is invalidated, this, this divergence will only be invalidated if this uh, RSI here, this is now a momentum indicator. If this uh, uh, trades below this line here, then you know that you don't have divergence and price and the indicator will be doing the same thing. In At this point, price and the indicator are doing the complete opposite, which means they are diverting. Right, so that is a US dollar czar. Let's have a look at the pound, uh, rather at the yen pairs. Now, looking at this here, we would have looked at this one to be a blue box area, a blue box reversal area. Remember, a blue box can be a reaction area. So it does not mean that when you reach the blue box, you're gonna have a complete reversal. You can have a reaction. You can have this one as a three-way structure and this one still continues to the downside. So this looks like a blue box area here, but the move to the upside is not aggressive. So we may still see this one continue to the downside, but let's wait and see how this plays out in the week. But as far as this is concerned, we should see this continue lower, at least break this low. If it's gonna to push to the upside, we must at least break this low. Remember, we've been looking for this one to drop from around this level. When it gave this entry here, we have now dropped. So it has to come down to around 152 first for us to confirm there. At this stage, the move to the upside is not confirmed. US dollar yen, interesting that US dollar yen on the daily looks like upside. Let's just have a look here on the daily uh, on US dollar yen. So US dollar yen, this is what we're looking at on the daily. So look at the daily, we're going to see more upside on US dollar yen. We're going to have a bit of continuation here to the upside, right? So uh, that's what we're looking at on US dollar yen in the next coming week. Let's go to the four hour indicator is showing us that we're going to have a bit of upside uh, on US dollar yen, maybe come around this level here, 1650, 1700. So continuation to the upside on US dollar yen, even with the US dollar, uh, even with the US dollar weakness. Right, so let's uh, let's check this because it's it also looks like a corrective structure here. So we need to get that confirmation. If it's a corrective structure, we're gonna have one more down here first before we push to the upside. Remember, the theme for this week is uh, short-term US dollar weakness. Right, so let's have a look here, and this is a US dollar yen, so you can have that short-term uh, US dollar yen weakness there. Right, so let's have a look here on uh, Euro yen. The U the yen pairs are have made a bounce, but that does not confirm reversal. So for example, we have uh, picked up last week, if you remember this one from the blue box, uh, we picked up that this is going to reverse from exactly from here after making the three wave structure here, then it is now dropped and giving us this structure one, two, three, as you can see here, we're bouncing up here. Are we going to get uh, this one playing out as, let's get a different color. This is a move up here. We're getting this one here, bouncing here. So we can get this one come around this level, okay? So that will be a nice a flat correction there. Then you'll have this one as a WXY corrective structure here in the red degree. Let's see how that plays out. Now you also have here in the lower degree, ABC corrective structure here. 
in the lower degree. That's a complex collective structure. So for now, we want to see confirmation. Are we going to get this leg here to about 133, 134? Let's see how that plays out. Right, chief yen. Right, chief yen over the last couple of uh, uh, weeks, we have been looking for this one to make one, two, three, and the drop. So we did not get the drop. Instead, we've got the corrective structure here, as you can see. So following the theme of the yen pass, the yen pass looks look like they're going to give us a bit of a bounce in the next coming session. So we're going to be looking for this one to come around this level. Okay. So this mostly most of these are not tradable setups. So what you would want to trade here on chief is when it is complete with this structure. I wouldn't want to trade upside at this point. I'd want it to get to around this level here. Then I will look for a blue box area, project it with a fib and look for this one to now drop. So for now, it can push to the upside. So a bit of a bounce here. Audi and New Zealand will be exactly the same as uh, uh, Audi US dollar and uh, New Zealand US dollar be in that the structures are similar. We're looking at this one as a regular flat. We're looking at this one to be making one, two, three. So a bit of a push to the upside here on Audi yen. That is the, what is uh, we're, we're expecting and uh, as well as New Zealand. So we have been selling these over the last couple of days from around this level. We've been selling this one for the drop here. But what we're seeing here now is that we're getting this complex uh, running flat here, one, two, expect this one to push up here for a three, and this one will be an A, B, C corrective structure. Let's see how that plays out. We can come here to around this level to have this complete structure here playing out as follows. Okay, so let's see how that plays out. Looks very good. Right, KDN will be similar. And then KDN has made a clear corrective structure and the bounce on KD yen is more convincing than in any other yen pair. So what we're seeing here is that we've got a move up here. You've got a three, three, three move here on KD yen, and we'll be anticipating this one to start pushing to the upside as follows. So the bound, we're looking for these bounces on the yen pairs. Gold, we've already gone through gold. You've seen what we're expecting. So expect gold to give you a bit of a pullback here and continuation to the downside. Do not just come and sell gold as it is, okay? This move to the downside does not confirm anything. You need to get confirmation around this level. Right, silver. So silver has made a very interesting structure. We'll be looking for this structure, one, two, three. If you remember silver, we we're looking for this one first to give us one, two, three, and then this one to drop. So when it started correcting here as follows, we also looked for this one to drop, but eventually we were looking for this to just complete a corrective structure. If now it looks more complete. It's a bigger corrective structure. It is relative to the rest of the move. If for this to drop, you wait for this one to con to give you a corrective structure here. So this corrective structure does not have to come at current levels. This can drop slightly and it can come around this level. But what you want here is a pullback and confirmation that this move is gonna continue lower. But that is what you're expecting, a continuation to the downside, just like gold. Now, platinum, you also remember platinum, we wanted to see a reversal around this level after it made a three-way structure, one, two, three. We wanted to see this one continue lower here, right? So it has pushed to the upside around this level. And now it has completed a one, two, three, breaks the top here, making this a regular flat, still a regular flat. We are now looking for a drop here. So it means we were just a bit premature there uh, in expecting this to drop here. So it will not have made any, uh, it will not have been wrong structurally because this will have been a running flat. Uh, so now it is giving us a, a clear regular flat, which is a common pattern. So you can look for this one to give you a corrective structure here and for a drop. Okay, so we need to get a clear structure for a pinpointed uh, trade area. Right, so brand crude oil, we have to look at brand crude oil in the higher degree because it has been just one big impulsive move to the upside and we are now expecting Brent crude oil to give us a corrective structure. Now, if you look at this one here, this was a wave, a corrective wave. So we'll be looking at this one to be making one, two, three, four, and a five. Now, if you remember last week, I indicated that we are looking for this one to make one, two, three, four, five here before we get a deeper corrective structure. So it looks like that deeper corrective structure is well underway, but not yet confirmed. Let's have a look here in the lower degree. Now we're gonna be looking in the lower degree for this move 
Is that the move that we're looking for? Is that the correct structure uh, starting there on a brand crude? Let's have a look. Okay, so last week I showed you this. This is the wave five here. This is a wave one of five. One, two, three, four, and a five looks to be complete. So we've got this drop here. We want to see this drop continue before we get in a continuation pattern to the downside for that bigger corrective structure. Let's see if that is the start of that move. Pound Audi. Now, Pound Audi, let's go up to the daily. We've been looking for Pound Audi to continue pushing up uh, slightly higher for that move. So we wanted this one to break up higher here and reverse around this level. So instead we are now making this corrective structure. One, two, three, we should have actually expected this. One, two, three, expecting this one to come down with an impulse. So around this level, 180, that's where you expect Pound Audi move, the current move to end up at. So that's what we have here on Pound Audi. We should come down to around this level. We may bounce here and get another move like this. But for now, we're not too worried about this. We're just watching this come down from 85 to about 180, still 500 pips more to get to 180 on Pound Audi. Pound New Zealand, now Pound New Zealand has made a very interesting move here. One, two, three here, corrective structure, a textbook blue box area here for a move to the downside. Last week, we were expecting a slight move to around 205 before this one drops, but it has reversed before reaching the exact level we wanted. But that is the move now confirmed. Now you can start riding onto the trend all the way down. So this is a very big corrective structure. So this should be a big move to the downside. You should have this one coming at least back around this level. So that will be a corrective structure. That will be a A, B, C move there and looking for this one now to keep giving opportunities for a sell. That is Pound New Zealand, Pound CAD. So last week, Pound CAD was pushing to the upside. We simply expected this one to give us one, two, three. I wanted it to come to around this level as a reverse prematurely though, but that's fine. We're looking for this one now. Look for opportunities to the downside. The trend to the downside looks to be confirmed now. We should see this one come down around this level. That is pound cat, pound chief. Now pound chief, just like uh, the just like pound US dollar, there's a likelihood that this structure plays out and it gives us this. We are bearish, however, long term on pound chief. Will we get this bounce? There doesn't seem to be enough momentum for us to get this bounce, and instead. This can just be a corrective structure here. I'll show you this in the lower degree, and this can just continue to the downside. Either that or that it comes here first, and then we get that structure here. Here, we don't have enough volumes to push this to the upside. We don't have enough volume to push this to the upside. Maybe if we get one more down here, this will be a nice buying area for the which will be playing on this corrective structure. For now, we don't have that. And you'll see even the lower degree on the four hour, that looks pretty corrective. Uh, it's actually confirming downside here. Even the indicator is showing us that this is going to continue lower. And uh, if we, this, should, this should also pull pound US dollar to the downside as well. So that is pound chief. Let's go to euro pound. Euro pound, we have been playing out this structure, looking for this to drop. So we wanted it to drop lower here, but it seems like uh, we are now getting a pullback here. We're even getting a structure, for a, an indication for upside here on Euro Pound. Let's update this one here. On the daily, we've got a daily setup for more upside here. So let's see here. Euro Pound is going to push to the upside. It looks like the Euro is going to be strong in the next coming session. So look for upside on most of the Euro pairs, especially where the Euro is the uh, base currency. So we'll be looking for this on Euro Pound. Look for a pinpointed entry in the lower degree, whether it's a four order or a one hour. So at this stage, you don't have an entry. You'll be watching out for that. Euro Audi. Now, Euro Audi, there is not much strength for a reversal here. We we'll look for this one to do this and continue to the downside. Okay, even if we bounce, we get that bounce to the upside, it will be temporary. Uh, you'll also see Euro New Zealand will be expecting that temporary bounce, at least for a three wave structure. Okay, so that's what you've got on Euro uh, New Zealand. Euro CAD continues to the downside, not even giving an opportunity for a bounce here. Just like Pound CAD, this one will now continue to the downside. Those are the Euro pairs. Euro Chief, Euro Chief is looking strong. So just like a Euro US dollar, you can see it's a similar structure. So we can get this one coming up here. This will be a three wave structure up, a three waves down, 
and we can get a three waves to the upside here. Then we'll have this one coming down. Why do I say three, three waves up there? That is a three wave move up. You've got here a very interesting three wave move to the downside. So we'll expect this one to come out, to go up here, either with an impulse or a three waves does not make any difference, but uh, it will it will give us a, um, we will know which structure it's gonna make depending on whether it's an impulse or a three wave move here. So let's see how that is going to play out. That is your chief, very interesting. Out in New Zealand last week, we wanted to see if this one was gonna drop or play out this corrective structure. Looks like this corrective structure is playing out, but we also will no need to wait for this confirmation here. Because if you look at this one here, this looks like it wants to drop here. We just want to get to that confirmation with the indicator if that is the drop and then we start seeing a bigger corrective structure to the downside we'll be watching that now most of the audi pairs have uh, bounced up in the last uh, week so is that all the bounce so for example here audi cat we have been bearish audi cat for the long for a long for a while here so this has been just bearish for the whole from 2022 up to date so every time you get those bounces it just pushes to the downside now we are currently around that similar area again, and we're still expecting Audi Cat to continue lower again. So Audi Cat expected drop still, as well as Audi Chief. That's the three-way move. It may push to this upside slightly, but that is just giving us a corrective structure for more downside. Okay. Now New Zealand Cat. Most of the Cat pairs will be looking downside. As you've seen with the US like head looking downside, this has also made a what looks like a three wave structure here. Let's put this one here. Nice three waves corrective structure here. We'll be looking for this one to drop. Let's see how that one plays out. Looks very interesting. Look for an entry there. New Zealand Chief. Right, New Zealand Chief. Similar to New Zealand US dollar, you can see here we've got one, two, three up, one, two, three back. We may see another one push to the upside here before any downside. Cat chief, lastly on the Forex pairs, cat, look, cat chief looks like it's gonna push to the upside, but looks like it's making a complex corrective structure here. This is one, two, we could come around this level here to make a regular flat, but the overall structure will be something like this. That's three waves. We should see another three waves here before any move to the upside, and that will give us a WXY structure there in purple. For now, so expect this one to push to the upside, at least back to around, this level. All right, so that is cat chief. Let's go to the indices. So the indices we pinpointed that uh, reversal from the top here uh, a couple of weeks back. So we were looking for this one. This one has been making higher highs, but I compare. Uh, so, but we were comparing the Dow Jones Industrial and the transportation, indicating that they were going to give us a reversal. Now it looks like that corrective structure has completed. We've got a clear three-way structure. It will not be surprising to see the S&P 500 now go and give us one more high. So let's see here how this is going to play out. One more high on the S&P 500, and that will be the case for the rest uh, of the indices here. They've all made these uh, clear structures, three uh, passing moves after these three wave pullbacks. This is the Dow Jones Industrial, exactly the same as the S&P 500. We should see another leg to the upside. And uh, the Dow Jones Transportation, the same, has now giving, uh, given us a, what looks like a pullback. So we should or possibly see a structure like this. Look at this one here. It's a move to the downside. It's a move back up here. It's three waves down here. It's a clear double XY structure. We should see another leg to the upside. So let's see how that plays out in the week. The NASDAQ also, after making such a what uh, what what looked like a one two three four five mark, this is this is now a WXY corrective structure, WXY XZ corrective structure, and that could be done, and we start seeing a move to the upside. Okay, so that is the Nasdaq. Let's see uh, how that's going to be playing out in the new week. Now the UK one hundred, as it was uh, pushing to the upside in the diagonal. We've been expecting it to pull, to pull, to drop here. So it looks like the drop has completed and we are now ready for another leg to the upside. So let's see here if this is gonna give us an opportunity for another leg to the upside. The DAX has given us a reversal, but not exactly the area where we expected. Let's put, make this one bigger. So we expected the DAX to reverse around this level here 
and give us a continuation to the upside in anticipation for it to play out this structure here. We wanted to see this one push to the upside like that. Okay, so, but we are seeing a reversal, that structure can still play out. What we wanted to see was for it to reverse here, still does not make any difference, that structure can still play out on the DAX. And then the Nikkei, now the Nikkei, we are still waiting for it to reverse at current levels because we are looking for this structure to now start playing out. Let's switch this one off here. So we've been looking for this one. I've been showing this for a couple of months now. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Do we get the reversal here now? This is the decider. This is the deciding area. If we don't get that one pushing around this, pushing, uh, reversing at this level, that structure will be invalidated. We want to see this one push to the upside. That is the knee key. And the Nifty has also made a nice reversal there after making the three waves, uh, three wave structure here. It's a nice three waves zigzag there. See WXY structure. Are we going to get a reversal here and give us this structure here? Let's do this in smaller paint. One, two, three. We we'll look for this one to push to the upside. Okay, so that is the Nifty. Those are the Forex pairs. And that's it for this week, guys. If you like what we do, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that bell notification button so that you get an alert the next time we upload a video. We'll see you again next week. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.